Hey guys, welcome back to another Switzer01 video. And today we are back in X-Plane to talk about quite a special concept. Yes, as you can see right here, we have a circle here because we're gonna talk about the concept of circular runways today. So yeah, a few years ago, a few engineers or one single engineer brought up the concept of a circular runway. A runway that is a circle or basically a whole airport that is a circle. And that was a very highly discussed topic and um, yeah, that was a few years back and even I made a video about it just, you know, briefly flying around the airport. And now I just wanted to, you know, make a conclusion out of this. Now here in my flight simulator X-Plane, I have kind of like a concept of what the airport is going to be like. And you know what? Let's just fly into that airport and um, talk about it, right? Now we have spawned into a 737 at a nearby airport. Let's just try landing this plane. Also, you should follow me on Instagram. Now, as you might know, this concept is highly criticized by a lot of people, even pilots, and even I'm on that side. But you know what? Let's just begin with the benefits of a circular runway. Obviously, the idea of a circular runway is that it allows more aircraft to land at the same time on the same runway. Is this that it? Yeah. So, for example, there would be like, you know, three or four planes even landing at the same time in one circle. You know, the capacity of one single circle is calculated to be like four runways. So that actually doesn't sound too bad, I guess, you know? It's something new, I guess, right? But yeah, that's kind of it for the benefits. Sh should we talk about the problems now? And actually, another benefit is that you can fly in from any direction. So obviously, a circular runway doesn't have a fixed heading because that would be kind of weird. No, you can just fly in from any direction and also fly out to any direction. That is actually quite a benefit. You know, I can just, you know, fly into the this airport and land on the circular runway. So, um, how does the landing process work? You know, I guess I just fly into it. And as you can see right here, the runway is actually banned as you can tell, because otherwise it obviously just wouldn't work. The runway has to be banked, but that is probably very obvious, right? Um, now that actually brings quite a few problems. Just that banking thing brings quite a few problems. I can imagine th that the wingtips of our plane will be very, very close to the runway itself, and that could be very dangerous. So I have to actually bank left to land. That's so weird. Oh no, yeah, Jesus Christ. You can easily get a wing strike. 15, 40, 30, oh, Jesus Christ. Oof, I think we hit the wing there. That was very, very close, at least. Just landing with a bank angle is weird. And that is probably the first issue. Let's check it out, shall we? Now, was that landing acceptable? I hope so. Oof, that was at least very, very close. Hmm, okay. Actually, we did not hit the tip of the wing. That's good. But I think we almost hit the engine. <laughs> Oof, that was extremely close. And actually, I wrote down a list of problems. Now, obviously, you don't want to have an emergency at a circular airport. For example, what happens if the nose steering fails? This happens. Oh my goodness. Okay, that was actually, it was not too bad. I mean, <laughs> okay, yeah, I'll take that. Just imagine you'd fall over because of a steering failure. Yeah, we have kind of died. I wonder how it is to fly a 747 into this airport. Let's check it out. And generally doing a go round will be very, very hard. You know, right now we have uh, clear blue skies and zero knots of wind, but obviously that is not always the case. You know, mostly there is some wind and obviously you always fly against the wind. And if you are kind of into aviation, you might already know that planes always land or take off into the wind. And obviously, that would be quite weird on this runway. There are other problems with weather. For example, if there are ILS conditions. For example, if there is fog. Obviously, we would need a new system of ILS because ILS won't work at a circular runway. Most probably, most probably, we would have to change to some kind of um, GPS navigation and uh, no one likes GPS, right? Also, there's a problem with icing, you know? You don't want ice on a circular runway. And even rain can have uh, quite some effects. Now, uh, something that you should keep in mind is also that you have to have a higher speed at landing on a circular runway because 
physics. Something else that I could imagine to be a problem is obviously the costs of building an airport like this. Now, obviously, you wouldn't need a lot of concrete just for the banking to happen. Oh, we really have to help with the rudder there, right? Oh, I think we... Oof. Oh, no. Oof. Oh, shoot. How did that happen? Oh, Jesus Christ. We're dead. How the hell did that happen? <laughs> Let's check it out. What was that? Now, that was quite a fail, right? Oof, that's it. Rip engines completely. I do still wonder how that happened. For some reason, the 747 kind of tipped over to the right a bit and hit the wing entirely and died. That is not a comfortable flight. Oopsie. Yeah, the costs of building an airport like this must genuinely be high. I mean, the banking and the circle must be perfect. And uh, this is a huge circle, actually. This is like, a, this thing has a diameter of around four kilometers. So this is gonna be quite a big project. Now, let's actually try some harsh weather conditions, shall we? Let's try just stormy weather. Right, we are in a Russian aircraft. Yeah, not the best conditions, right? Now, the engineer of this concept basically defends himself by saying, this is really a concept for the far future. That guy actually plans this concept to be a real thing in 2050, which is in 30 years? Yeah. Now, obviously, a lot of things can change until then. Maybe we will even have, like, AI plans you know who knows you really have to work with the rudder there don't you Oof, I just can't get it. I bank all the way to the left, but it doesn't work. Oh, well, I'm completely dead at this point. How does this keep happening? Yeah, and uh, bad weather conditions also don't make the landing easier. Yep, no, no, that. Oof, oof. Now, I really don't think that a concept like this would make sense after all. I mean, it just, you know, it just makes flying unnecessarily more dangerous. And it's just completely unnecessary. Why would you do that? It's just, it just costs more and it adds some more variables. But hey, it might end up leading to some kind of other idea that'll revolutionize the market or something. But until then, subscribe to my videos, like my channel. Wait, oh wait, it's the other way around. I'm so funny. Follow me on Instagram. But I'll see you next year. Ah. <sighs> Good night.